Liddy, are you listening? Are you gonna edit for me? Are you gonna tell me where I'm going wrong? Okay, good. After so much pain and suffering of watching <coughs> how ugly this is gonna be, like, ah, anyway. Um, so, has anybody ever paid attention to the phrase of you get out of life whatever you put into it? Um, if that is just a little bit of how it goes. Um, but what does that mean to everybody, you know? I, I, I think I know what that, what it means to me, like, through my mindset changes and through everything that I'm trying to gain, you know, I spent so much time in my past so stressed and so upset about not having a path and not having something to follow and even now that I now that I have it you know I have or that I have an idea of what it is it's still it's still stressful it's still tough um you know I'm basically resetting and um I know that t to get to where I want to go like I have to imagine it I have to write it down I have to have confidence in it I have to tell myself this stuff every every day um you know, and to get out of life what I want, I have to put in so, so much work, you know, and all the people that you follow, all the role models that you see, um, everything that you pay attention to, you know, that you can dream of possibly having, you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. And I know you guys have heard this too. Um, you're never going to see that 95% underneath the surface uh, of all the work that people put in. And, you, you know, these can be people that you resent you know, or better about them being different than you, or being more successful than you, um, or people that you admire with so much passion and so much love. And uh, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with this. I think, except in the in the comparison of things. Like when it comes to what you really want in life and what you're gonna get out of it, it all has to be about you. It all has to be about um, what you pay attention to, what you're doing, not not anything else. You know. Um, what anybody else is doing is not going to have anything to do with with your growth, you know? Um, every time you're paying attention to somebody else, you're taking away your action. You're taking away your time. Um, you're putting more stress into what you're trying to get involved in. And so, in my opinion, getting out of life what you want from it you know, you have to do more than, um, you have to do more than just work. You know, you have to do more than just research. Um, you have to be so involved in just you and your projects and not letting anything else get in the way of what you're trying to do. And I totally believe in balance of life and, you know, having, being happy throughout your process. Um, but you really got to pay attention to yourself. You, you almost have to be in your own world completely. Um, and it's not easy to do. I struggle with this every day, especially because I'm a people person and I want to, I want to help everybody. I want to hear everybody's story. And it's definitely my downfall. And I'm not saying that I have any judgment against anybody that I talk to. I have so many friends and I appreciate all those friends. Like relationships make you who you are. Um, but you have to be okay with being selfish. And I think that's what is going to get you to what you want in life is knowing for sure what it is that you want and paying attention to exactly that before anything else. And so, I guess in an ending, like, what more can there be? You know, I, I guess I'm in a way I'm telling you to be selfish and in, in my terms, like, of selfish, selfish is, is not a bad thing. I think it's misconstrued. I think it's uh, got a, uh, stigmatic perspective, if that makes sense. Um, and you have to be okay with paying attention to you, to loving you, to working on you before anything else. So you'll get what you want out of life as long as you give it the time and process and patience, hard work, dedication, passion, you know, that it really, really needs. If you want to be your ideal, you have to pay attention to you before anybody else because once you start creating yourself, 
and you're in a drive to create more for the world, you're already going to be doing that. The more you pay attention to yourself, the more you get yourself to grow, you're already going to be giving to others. You're already doing a selfless act. <coughs> A lot of times I don't even know what I am yet, you know? I even have, I have goals, I have things that I want, I have, you know, things I want to achieve, and uh, a lot of times I get upset with myself, either upset that I'm not growing, or upset that um, it, it's going to be too hard, you know? It's never going to be the end. You know, as long as you're shooting for what you really want, it's never going to be the end. Because you'll never give up.